Hi, I'm Wise Boys Jackson, and today on Crazy Zaxxon, I'll be showing you the most commonly hacked TCP and UDP ports, and I'll also be showing you common security weaknesses. Okay, so after this short little break, we'll get started. So um, just let me quickly bring up the presentation and we'll start off with it. Okay, so the most commonly hacked TCP and UDP ports are TCP port 20 and 21, which is FTP, which is File Transfer Protocol, TC port 23, which is Telnet. TC port 25, which is SMTP, which is Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. TCP and UDP port 53, which is DNS, Domain Name System. TCP port 80 and 443, that's HTTP, uh, which is Hypertext Transfer Protocol, and it's HTTPS, which is HTTP over SSL. Now the next one is TCP port 110, which is POP3, which is Post Office Protocol version 3. Then TCP and UDP ports 135. Now these are RPC in a Microsoft environment. Then TCP and UDP port 137 through to 139, which is a net bias over TCP and IP. TCP and UDP port 161 is an SNMP, Simple Network Management Protocol. Okay, so that's the most commonly hacked ports. Um, you can download the slide off my website so you can memorise them what they are. And, right, I'm going to go and show you some security weaknesses. Okay, so here are some of the most common security weaknesses. And the first one is gullible or overly trusting users. Then unsecured building or computer room entrances. Discarded documents and computer disks that have not been shredded or destroyed. Weak or no passwords. Network perimeter with no firewall. Poor inappropriate or missing file and share access controls. Unpatched systems, web applications with authentication or information disclosure issues, wireless systems running with default settings and without WEP, WPA or WPA2 enabled, SNMP enabled network hosts with default or easily guessed community strings. And finally, firewalls, routers, remote access, and dial-up devices with default or easily guessed passwords. So, if your systems have any of these problems, you need to check for them and basically fix the problems. Because these are the way people can hack very easily into network systems. So... If you run a system, then I advise you double checking over these if you haven't already done so. Okay, so now I'm just going to quickly show you a quick overview of the Crazy Zaxa network. Now that includes my website, social network, tech conference, and web design. So here I'll get started. Okay, so this is the Crazy Zaxa website homepage. This is the main page of the website. I have my latest videos here. And I have a little advertisement there. And you can build your own website through this link. And I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the program that you can use, which is on that link. Now, I've got about a virus that's been going around, but I'm going to take that off soon. Some information about us, and then links to some of the social sites that I'm on. 
some of my pictures and a link to my Flickr with more pictures and some comment box. And that's an advertisement for a magic website who contacted me about advertising. So if you're interested, I'll, get, I'll tell you to give them a look because they're pretty good. Then my social page. This is all, well not all of them, this is most of the social networks that I'm currently in. Then our forum. I've only recently just set this up because I redesigned all my website and this is my forum page. As you can see there's only been two posts but that's because I've only just set it up today. Now more help. Here you can watch the videos I upload onto YouTube and you can also get more information about them. This is my live show which I do weekly. You can buy ebooks that we've made. You can partner with us. You can contact me, log in, become a member, and then report bugs and ask me questions. Also, I have a social network which I've just set up. And this is it. And then my tech conference page, which I'm going to be changing the dates to August, and it's not going to be in July anymore. And it's going to be free online. Then, finally, my design site. Now, on this site, I design videos, uh, I do websites, logo design, picture editing, as you can see here, and I have already sold one website to a company called Magnum. And if you run a business or a website, then check out their products because they're pretty good. Okay, so that's the Crazy Zaxter Network. Please join our social network, sign up to the website and even the tech conference because it's free and it's, you're going to be learning loads of new things over the internet for free so what could be better and finally just to quickly show you this is my YouTube channel page where you can see all my videos without the extra additional help so thank you for watching please subscribe Please rate and comment, and I will see you next time. Bye.